Hello everyone, Taki Dheeraj here. So today we are going to uh, discuss with GDB a little bit. So this the topic of this discussion is uh, how to use GDB efficiently and the level is beginner. Uh, these are the assumptions as usual like GCC and GDB like has to be installed in your machine. So I'll put up the link in my description uh, to you can install it from there. And uh, these are the subtopics I'm gonna cover. So the only one topic is there, the like efficient use of GDB. So I'll just explain some of the like commands of GDB where we can use efficiently to uh, traverse through our binary. So let's jump into the binary immediately. So I have uh, this code here. As you can see, it's just a simple code. Uh, I'm just getting the current time. And I'm just using a random function, which is generally uh, will get value from dev slash dev random. So I'm just getting some random value around this uh, seed value. So this will be like the current second I'm giving. So second will be like from the uh, first January 1970, like which is a called as a epos time. So that will be considered as a seed value. So around that value, uh, this random function will return. So that's like uh, irrelevant to the demo what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. So these are the two uh, test functions I wrote. So inside function, inside function. So I'm just jumping from one function to another function. And here I'm just uh, uh, fill random value I'm using and I pass this array, which is of size 10. So I passing, I'm passing the size of array here. And then just I'm um, inside this function, I'm just uh, going through the loop and just uh, inserting the array with the random value. Uh, to keep it into the range of 100, I'm just using this module operator. And same like displaying, so I'm just displaying it here, as you can see here. So I just quickly run this program without any uh, debug symbols. Okay, so it's just printing, going through first function, second function, then fill random values, then display values, and then we have the whole array here, which is just a random. If we run it again, it will be different value as you can see here. Okay, so every time it will be different. So that's uh, like irrelevant to the uh, demo which I'm trying to do here. So let's just uh, open this uh, in one window and let's just parallelly analyze this uh, whole code. So. Okay, sorry, I think I have to change directly. One second. Okay, so now we are here. So let's just compile it quickly. GDP win and i'm just gonna compile it with the symbols here and i'm just gonna put it the same name gdp win and for the sake of simplicity i'm just uh, making it as a architecture 32. okay so we have this here binary here so if i just run the same binary we can see the whole random array here right so let's just load it into gdp Okay, so as usual, when we generally break it, so we generally run like this, and we have the whole code here, as you can see here, and we can just uh, analyze the code through symbols also, which we generally do here. Okay, but when we generally use uh, JDB, so we generally analyze like this. So this is time we're not gonna use this uh, strategy to analyze the code because the problem, uh, I won't say the problem, but there is like a, a if we have to open this code parallelly, which I have just opened, so if I want to traverse, for example, I am at, uh, uh, for example, I'll just start here. So I am at the first breakpoint. So this is my first instru instruction here. And if I just uh, want to add a breakpoint at line 38, for example, break 38. Okay, so if I just continue it, so I'm uh, inside this now. If I just do SI here. So I will be inside the function, test function as we know, like if I just disassemble the current stack, it will be like this printer. And this is the instruction. If I just uh, uh, check this string, it will be like uh, 
colon colon function because this, it will push in the reverse order as we always know how to call the function so uh, this string should be this inside function okay so let's just okay let's just see so this will be like whole string inside function and the second argument will be pushed in the reverse order so that's like usual way of calling the functions uh, but what i'm trying to say here so what uh, generally if i have the symbol so then i have to every time i have to do this list and i have to check the this arrow where my current instruction uh, gdb is ex executing so i have to see the disassemble code so i every time i have to see okay i am currently at this line or i can just uh, i have to do list every time okay i'm currently at this uh, executing this task so that is what i want to avoid if i want to avoid that kind of uh, headache so we don't need this uh, source file we can just exit it so let's just jump into this uh, okay so there is one feature we can call it so let's just uh, uh, delete all breakpoints first okay let's just add only one breakpoint breakpoint main okay so i'll just run it i'll it will stop at the first breakpoint as we know okay so uh, which we can just cross check by calling the disassemble so as you can see we are before just uh, calling any of the like get time of the day is the first uh, function inside the uh, inside main so before calling that we are like at a, at a first line of the main code so what i'm going to do i'm going to use window win uh, generally we call it so it's like a win feature in gdb so if i just enter it so it will just show me where i am currently at my current instruction it will just show me so now uh, here i can parallelly see which instruction my code is currently is executing for example i want to add the same breakpoint at 38 line and as you can see here immediately it will show here okay i added one more breakpoint if i just want to add breakpoint at 39 it will show one more breakpoint was added so if i just uh, run or uh, we can just continue it so it will show okay my current code is inside this so for example uh, we can traverse uh, through this whole source file parallelly in this main feature so this main feature will only work when we have the like symbols enabled if we don't have the symbols this will not be able to load the whole code here so inside test function we can see we have a breakpoint uh, we have a printf statement so i'll just add a breakpoint at six line just for checking so i'll just continue it so because it, it will call the test function now we are inside the six line so parallelly whenever i'm just running it so whenever it is hitting the breakpoint so it's getting uh, the breakpoint is getting hit and it is showing as a capital b here okay i'm currently executing this instruction like this and if i just continue it again so it will now add a breakpoint at this line okay so like this like that it is uh, working so that was like uh, because of this that code was little bit messed up because of this uh, multiplexer which i'm using uh, but uh, as you can see here the current line of instruction is capital b plus here test punk 2 okay so again if i add the one more breakpoint inside this test punk 2 which is line 10 okay then if i just jump it i can see okay my current code this function i'm currently executing then if i add a breakpoint at 41 line okay if i just continue it so as you can see so this is like a little bit messing up with this we can just uh, go through back again so like this so as we can see currently it is at line 41 like this field random value and if i just do si here instead of adding the breakpoints if i just want to traverse through the code so if i just do si here so as we can see if i just do si so we are yeah we are inside the function because it was previously loading the pushing the all the function parameters inside that and we can see we are inside the function if i just do si again now we are at the this line okay so we can see here so it's it's a just line by line control flow of the whole program we can visit like like that 
and there are many features regarding this so this is the just a window pane so we can exit this window by control x a okay so there are many things we can do with this so we have a I will just execute this one. So we have these this many uh, windows that can be opened in GDB, which one is source, the other is command. Command is generally which we enter commands, okay, which was like a downside and ESM is like assembly code and register is register displays. So if I just enter like normal enter, so it will be like below one is the command window. We can say this is a source window. So what uh, that wind uh, height, there is one uh, uses here, as you can see so what we can do is we can adjust the windows height so for example i want my below command window to a little bit bigger so i can just enter wind command and plus how many lines i want to more how many lines i want it to show more so i can just enter like four lines or like ten lines just to see the difference so as you can see now this is bigger okay so if i just control x a and i can just say source uh, to show more 10 lines so as you can see now it's back to the same thing okay so when it increased the 10 lines of this command window it decreased obviously the size, uh, 10 lines of source window so like that as you can see we are inside pin random values so uh, if i just uh, okay add a breakpoint at 42 line let it continue till that okay so okay if i just do si here now i am just at the instruction of 42 which is just display values if i do SI, now i am inside the display value so this is the just uh, i'm trying to explain from like this we can uh, uh, traverse through the whole binary what it is doing if we have the whole code instead of going through the parallel checking out the code we can just run the si instructions or next instruction just to traverse through the whole code what it is doing so like that we can see each instructions how it is getting executed okay so now it's getting print here also inside function which printer print it's uh, added here so like that so as you can see here because it's a for loop so it will uh, execute this instruction then uh, this instruction again as you can see if i just press n like that you can see 10 times it will do so like it is very helpful in some scenarios uh, we can just check our code what it's find is doing through this so uh, that's all for this video i wanted to explain like this only so we will see some more uh, features of gdb in uh, my next video so uh, that's all from my side in this video please like it share it and subscribe to my channel thank you all